How's it going everybody? This is Rick from the Best Top Marketing Team and today I'm going to be showing you how to install our twill replace a top on this 2007 JK here behind me. Now the 2007 to 2009 is a separate model of the replace a top but this is going to apply to all models of JK Wrangler. So this is a 2007 four-door JK that our friends at Bullhide have let us borrow but this installation is also going to apply to the two-door JK Wrangler as well, as the installation is not the same, but very similar. All right, so now I'm going to show you what is included in the kit. This is a very simple parts kit. You're going to see the seals right here. These are going to be for the header. These are your roll-up straps that hold up your rear window. Uh, you roll your rear window up and fit them on either side. There's some zipper cleaner and lubricant for later on to keep your top uh, zippers running very smoothly. We have the masking tape needed for the header install, a Phillips head screwdriver, and the installation guide. And of course we have the deck and windows all rolled up in one big assembly right here. So as the install guide points out, you want to install this top above 72 degrees and you can Take the fabric and lay it out in your driveway if it's a nice sunny day and you want to warm it up. However, today we're going to be installing inside and I'd recommend that if you have the option. As I mentioned, this is an early model, a 2007. And the 2007 to 2009 uses a channel system to attach to the door rail and create a good seal here where you tuck it in. And any year JK above that uses a cable system in this area, but that's the main difference you're going to see. All right, so when you look at your installation guide, you're going to see that the first steps all involve removing the current top that you're going to be replacing. And it's pretty simple. If you've had this top for a while, it's basically just taking your windows out, retracting it to the rear of the vehicle. So I'm going to kind of breeze through that, but I'm going to show you the more difficult parts of removing the fabric from the hardware assemblies. When you take the rear window out, make sure you start on the passenger side and bring it around to the driver's side. When you hit the driver's side, the window will release on the bottom. All right, so make sure you remove that tailgate bar from the rear window. And this is a good spot for me to point out that this kit uses all the original hardware. And if you happen to come across uh, any piece of hardware in this installation that needs to be replaced, go ahead and give our customer service a call. So we've moved to the rear of the vehicle. I'm gonna take these screws out of the rear bow and it helps to just sit in the cargo area to take these out and make sure you set these screws aside because they will be reused. All right, so now I've moved on to the center bow right above the rear passenger seat. You're gonna do basically the same thing. You got four screws that are attaching this flap and you're gonna remove those and set them aside. All right, the next step is right above the driver and passenger head. This is the number two bow where we're just gonna unvelcro this flap. Wow, you can see all the dust coming out of that. This has been well used. All right, so now I'm going to retract the top to the rear of the vehicle, just like you're folding your top down to get the bows and header all the way to the cargo area. 
once you have it in the Sunrider position, make sure you release these two latches and pop it up like that and do that on both sides where it won't allow it to go to the rear of the vehicle. All right, then you're just gonna take the whole top assembly, fold it down to the rear of the vehicle. The next step is to remove these screws right here from the driver and passenger side of the header. Make sure you set these aside and don't lose them. But if you do lose them, give our customer service a call. Now we're gonna get these two screws that are underneath that flap out of the header. And we're gonna repeat that step on the other side as well. Just a side note, so far I've been removing all of the exact same type of screw. So you can kind of set them all together and they will be all interchangeable. Now that we've taken those screws out of the side of the header, we are going to take the whole top assembly and fold it back up to the front of the vehicle so that we can flip the fabric over and get to the screws on the other side. So when you fold this back up, it does not need to go back in these um, latches that are in the center of the vehicle. And we're gonna now grab all the fabric that it's released from the rear bows and pull it to the front of the vehicle. Okay, so you want to take all this fabric assembly and pull it towards the front of the vehicle and just, you can just lay it on the front of the hood. So make sure you grab this flap from underneath the header and pull it as far forward as you can so you can see the screws on the top. So you can see I'm standing on the driver's side seat in the front here because I'm going to remove all the screws that run all the way across this header and uh, you might want to throw a towel down or something like that to protect your seats while you're standing on them, but this is definitely the easiest way to take all of these out. So these screws are actually different than the other ones that we were removing from the bows, but they are all the same. So you can keep them all together, but keep them separate from the other screws you've taken off so far. So we've gotten all these screws out of here. Turns out there was actually 27 screws in this header. So if you have a variety of uh, amount of screws, don't worry about it, just take them all out so that you can release the clamshell style header here. You should be able to see this whole top piece come out and you'll see it just removes from the rest of the header. All right, so now this fabric has been completely released from this header and it's just loose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it down the front of the hood and get rid of it. I unrolled my top fabric, I took the windows out and now I just have the top or what we call the deck of the top in front of me here. And you wanna make sure you orient this correctly. A good thing to make sure you look for is this yellow warning sign. That's the front and that's going to go up over the hood and connect to the header. So this is gonna be your driver's side right here and your passenger side over here. But you wanna make sure this goes up first and connects to the header as you drag it over the hood. Okay, so now that we got the fabric up here and oriented correctly, there is a extrusion sewn into the fabric. You can see here, you wanna put that down in this channel right here. And this is where you have the notch that you want to line up with this center notch on the header. So now that I have these two notches lined up, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I secure it with our masking tape on either side. And I'm going to work my way out, keeping this in place.
You don't have to put quite as much tape, but make sure you start with a decent amount of tape from the center. And I've gone ahead and, and cut a number of pieces of tape before I even started this to make this a little easier as I work my way out. Just make sure this extrusion stays in this channel. All right, so now we're gonna take the upper part of the header and put it back into position here. And the really tricky part is gonna be right here where you wanna make sure this, this pocket, if you will, on the corner stays around this corner right here of the header. It's very important. Okay, so once you've made sure that that corner has stayed nice in the pocket, you're gonna start putting your screws back into these holes just on this uh, outer edge and on the passenger side outer edge when you go move to that side first. So make sure when you're putting these two outer screws into the header that you realize that this is going into this bow and you need to make sure that these screws are actually going into the bow so that it's not just pushing on top of it and then you're gonna have a problem with this header coming loose. Once you have the driver's side done, then go ahead and go over to the passenger side and start with those outer screws before you do all the ones in the middle. Okay, so now that we got the screws on the corner secure to either side on the bows, I'm gonna work my way across. Doesn't really matter what side you start with, but put all the rest of the screws in now. So as you're putting these screws back into the middle of the header, be aware that they don't need a ton of torque. You could just go pretty light on these. There's a ton of them and it doesn't need to uh, be too tight because you can start deforming the plastic if you screw them in too tightly. But the ones on the outer edges that go into the bow, you have to tighten pretty well. Okay, so now that we've gotten the fabric secured to the front of the header, what we're gonna do is gonna take this whole fabric assembly and flip it over the top and drape it over the back. And then we're gonna fold the hardware along with that down to the rear to finish a few more steps. We're gonna go get our screws we took out of this corner of the header earlier. We got four different screws. We're gonna start with the two that are in the circular indents that are going to actually be attaching your bow to the header. So we'll start with those and then we'll do the one with the flap. Okay, now that I did these two, I'm gonna line up this flap with this indent right here and then put the two screws back in through the holes. All right, now you're gonna repeat those steps on the other side. Now we're gonna get our foam seals, and there's one that has some notches. I'm gonna show you in a second how these are oriented, but these do matter which side you put them on. One side is for the driver and the other is for the passenger. And then you have two that are the same, and these go on the corner of either side. All right, so this is going to be the driver side one, which this part is gonna go down here around this bow, and then this little notch right here comes right into this area. So that's how you can tell you have the right side. So you peel the adhesive off first. I like to start with the bow part in the back here. And this is just gonna give you a little better wind seal protection from leaks and so forth. Just cover those screws. Okay, and then the next part you got this seal right here, which I mentioned, these are the same. So on this seal, this one just goes about half an inch back from the front 
and it goes up the side a little bit, about to where the edge of the header is. And then you just kind of mold it to the shape of the side of the header there. It kind of creates like a little C shape there at the end. Just make sure you press all these down well, make sure they stick. And then you're going to make sure you do that on the other side. If the header is really dirty, you might want to clean that up before you put these seals on. So the installation guide is going to tell you to try to put the rear bow flaps on with some screws here in this position. And unfortunately, we have this rack system here where if you can't get in the cargo area, this is going to be very hard to do. So if you're in that situation like I am, feel free to fold this to the front of the vehicle. And we're going to put the roof back up and do it the same way that we took it off in the beginning where we're going to be screwing in overhead. So if you're going to do it the way that I'm going to show you here where you're putting the top back up into position, make sure you go ahead and lock the center catches into place. Now what I'm going to try to do is center the flap right here. I'm going to try to put this screw right in the dead middle of it. And the easiest way I find to do this is before you try to screw it into the bow is just screw it into the fabric itself like this. And you're going to get a little bit of the screw poking out the other side. And once you have that, it's much easier to take this, wrap it around, and get it where it needs to be in that hole, and then tighten her up. There's sometimes a pre-punched hole or a little mark that'll help you find this, but generally you just want to get it right in the center of this. It's not too important for it to be perfect. So now I'm going to hop in the back seat of the Jeep here and attach this second flap to what we call the number three bow. And um, this one is going to wrap from the front. It's not going to wrap all the way around from the back like the last one. Okay, so on this flap, there's no holes really, but you just want to make sure it's centered up where this outer hole of the four uh, holes that are here, you just want to make sure that you have it lined up so that all four holes will have the ability to go through this flap when you put a screw through it. So the last bow that we need to get attached to this top fabric is the number two bow, which is right over the driver's head and that just attaches with the hook and loop. So I like to start in the middle and work my way out to either side. If you haven't already decided to shut your top and do it in the order that we did, go ahead and do that now. Make sure you hit the center latches as well as the latches at the header. Once you have that done, come back here and you're going to try to get these retainers into what we call the belt rail of the Jeep. It's a tongue and groove style system. And you can see on this, there's a, there's a curve right here and that's going to line up with the corner. One thing that really helps is if you put your hand up here and then pull down, you can put a lot of weight into this. In fact, you can put almost all your weight into this if you want, just to get that started. And then it makes it pretty easy as you push it in and wrap it around. And you're going to make sure you do that on the other side. Next, we're going to install our quarter windows. I'm here on the driver's side. You want to make sure that you get your zipper backed up all the way to here, and you just want to get this started just a little bit like that. You can kind of Velcro it up like that just to keep it from hanging weird.
And then we're gonna move up here and tuck this front rail into the door rail. Now this is an L-shaped retainer that tucks into this slot right here. So it has to go around this turn and tuck in going towards the rear of the vehicle, which is a little tricky to understand. But if you've had this top on for a while, there's style of top, you probably get how to do this. And then sometimes you're gonna need to pull down a little bit while keeping your hand here so you can continue. Okay, so now that we got that front rail in, I'm gonna continue zipping around the corner here. Okay, so now I have this zipper almost all the way done. I'm gonna give myself a little slack here to tuck the lower retainer into this belt rail. And on this one, it's easier to start at the rear and work towards the front. Then you just wanna finish this zipper off. So then you wanna finish by getting the hook and loop strip underneath this flap and securing it as you work around and then down. And then repeat those steps on the other side. We're going to put these new elastic garters, which I like to call window roll-up straps. We're gonna replace the old ones. It's really simple. You can see the old ones are just hanging here and there's a snap at the top. You just pop that off and put a new one on. Super easy. All right, so now we're going to put our tailgate bar on our rear window and just make sure you orient it the right way. The JK is kind of easy to tell where you have those little points that go down and meet with the main seal, as you see here. So just make sure you think about it that way. So if that's the case, what I'm gonna do is just slide it on in that orientation onto the tube strip on the rear window. And then just center it up. I'm gonna take it and attach it like this. Make sure you get into both retainers. Give it a little tap and you're good. Fold your window over like this. And you're gonna to wanna to get these zippers started right here. Make sure they're over here on the driver's side, these double zippers. And then you wanna get this tab right here attached into the window side. Keep your thumb there on the bottom, kind of helps. Then you're gonna zip this all the way around. So the last step is to tuck in these flaps into your tailgate bar retainer, and you're gonna to wanna to do that on both of the sides, then shut your tailgate. The next step is gonna to be to open your door up and find these plastic retainers that are right above the door and they are gonna to need to go right up into the door rail. And I like to work front to back on these. Make sure you do this on both sides. Whatever side you do first is gonna be the easier one, then it's gonna get a little harder on the other side. Thanks for watching this installation video of the Replace a Top on the JK Wrangler. If you have any questions at all or if you have any issues with your hardware, please give our customer service a call and we'll get you taken care of. I appreciate you watching today and I hope this helps. <laughs>